Excellencies, colleagues, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning, afternoon, evening to all of you. Thank you for inviting me to speak at this session of Kuya Youth Dialogues, focusing on exploring intersections between the climate, peace building, and LGBTQI youth movements. As we are on the doorstep of COP26, with many cities and countries of the world in conflict, there could be no better time to discuss these critical issues. Violations of the rights of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and intersex people undermine the shared international goal of gender equality. Addressing and ending such violations is part of the fulfillment of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development's promise to leave no one and no place behind. UN Habitats integrates LGBTQI-related human rights concerns into all our programmatic work. For example, we work with our partners, Dialogo, Diverso, a civil society youth NGO and the city of Quito to educate the LGBTQ community on COVID-19 preventions through the painting of public service murals, a project that was honored as a runner-up for the Secretary General's Innovation Award. We seek to ensure intersectional representation of LGBTQI groups in all our work with government and civil society in global meetings such as the World Urban Forum and also in regional and country level meetings such as national urban forums. The LGBTQI community faces significant challenges when realizing their human rights and are often disproportionately impacted when in conflict contexts and by climate change. Their marginalization is greater when looking at intersecting forms of marginalization, hindering the full fulfillment of their human rights. Those who reside in urban informal settlements and slums, which currently over 1 billion people globally live within, face even further deprivation, lacking access to basic services such as water and sanitation, and inability to live in safe and affordable housing, and lacking access to education, decent jobs, and livelihoods. We urge states and cities worldwide to adopt inclusive municipal laws policies, and services with comprehensive implementation measures to protect the rights of trans and gender diverse persons. This includes policies that help create safer cities free of violence and harassment against the LGBTQI community. As the Executive Director of UN Habitat, I will continue to support ongoing advocacy for an inclusive workplace free of stigma for all and overcome all hurdles specific to them. Human rights are universal and for all people everywhere. Let us continue to stand against homophobia, biphobia and transphobia. We are not all the same, but we are all equal. Thank you.